for this team to make the right steps to, to go where we want to go as we continue building the club. I just can't, I cannot, we cannot see that again from some of these guys as far as the lack of give in certain situations. Special teams one wins the game for us. We do squat five on five. It is, I break. lit a match to the tape already. It's yeah. done, it's burnt. Seriously, we don't even look at it. I've got one center plan, one. Uh, we were absolute no-shows uh, in every facet of the game. And it was a god-awful team that I coached the other night. So hopefully we'll answer the proper way. I watch Mac play the way he did in net. I watch some other guys uh, do everything they possibly can to try to win the hockey game. And then I see a few, and, and a few of our top guys, they did not give enough. Not all our top guys, a couple of top guys. And I'm not giving you names, you guys have to watch the damn game and figure it out yourself. It's, it's an easy thing to bench a player. I, that's, that's the last thing I want to do, but if I think I need to do it, then I need to do it. You know, I don't know why you get the information. I'm not talking about injuries, talk about the game. These guys, who knows what the hell they're doing on this break. We can't, we can't touch them, we can't uh, do anything with them during the break. Uh, but I, I think when you come back as a, as a pro, you gotta give. We gave nothing. We still have a lot to work on. I, I, I still think we're a terribly disjointed team. Welcome to a very special edition of a franchise mode series. As you can probably tell from the title, this is going to be something that we haven't really done before. Something a little bit new. This is Torts Team, baby. And uh, what that means essentially is we cannot use any skill guys. All our teams are going to be built purely of two-way forwards, grinders, power forwards, enforcers, and then on the defensive end, defensive defenseman and two-way defenseman. No offensive defensemen, no playmakers, no snipers. That's right. Yeah, chemistry is going to be uh, difficult to uh, come by, but that's all right. We're, I want to see if it's possible and to, to win with, with uh, you know, that, that kind of a team. All grit, you know, no skill. Um, I don't know because two-way forwards, you know, are hated in this game. Um, power forwards work well, but they work well with, you know, playmaker sniper combinations. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. It feels like we're going to have to use our power forwards as our goal scorers. Two way forwards are <laughs> just going to try to try to, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but that's why we're going to try it here. Um, for those of you wondering, there's a, uh, we will be doing a new, a, a new regular franchise mode series on top of this. I just want, I didn't want to go too long in between, you know, pumping out videos and stuff. So I wanted to kind of get this ball rolling. Then we'll have a poll for the regular franchise mode as well as I'll update the membership rosters. Another thing, yeah, there are no members in this. I mean, I'm just using um, just a, a regular roster update, the latest one, and I've cranked up the uh, the prospect thing to high and high. So good draft classes. A lot of good prospects. The thing about that is we don't necessarily get to benefit that as much. That's almost like it helps the AI more because they can, you know, get in all these franchise guys. Unless they're two-way forwards and power forwards and, you know, that kind of thing, we won't be able to use them. So, you know, and plus, awesome draft classes are fun anyway. So <laughs> we'll see how stacked this lead can get as we struggle with our, uh, our, our gritty team here. But anyway, I think I broke down the rules relatively well i'm kind of spitballing here um now I'm, i was trying to decide am i allowed to draft skill guys and then just not use them i'd have to trade them or something i that kind of seems a little cheap to me you guys let me know what you think about that uh but yeah anyway let's let's build this team so same thing with the expansion draft we can really only grab um you know those those those, those same kind of guys power forwards two-way forwards etc so forth fog vor is off because it's the trade value thing is, um, as far as I know, still broken. Morale is on. I know that might affect the stat growth thing, but we're just going to have to deal with that. I like morale on. I really do. I think it adds a good, you know, you, you have to play guys, you know, give, give them the ice time. They're humans and, you know, they get pissed. They have egos. If you're Eric Carlson, you have a really big ego. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think I covered just about everything. Let's get into it. Let's build this team here. Get up to that expansion draft. Oh, yeah, team name and shit. Uh, we're Kansas City Carnivores in the central. Um, I figured, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you the jerseys if I can remember either in this video or the next one. I always seem to forget, but uh, yeah. 
Not too bad. Just a, just a basic expansion team. Alright, so... We're gonna have the fifth overall selection, so we should get an elite, maybe. Anaheim, wow. Anaheim got another cool pick. So that this is like the, the free draft, essentially. And I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that it actually... Uh, actually uses the uh, latest roster update because I, I set it to custom as a custom roster and I think that I think that means it just uses the latest roster that you have I'm hoping at least whatever because I didn't use default roster I'm hoping it, did, it didn't just import my latest my last custom roster that would kind of suck because then it'd be tons of members in here well it'd be a bunch of members we couldn't use them <laughs> most of them but I'm pretty sure that's wouldn't be the case I think it just uses the roster that you have um, selected, essentially. Anyway, let's let's begin the expansion draft here. All right. So, what do you guys got? Manson. We can grab Manson. I'm pretty sure he's a DFT. Yeah, we can grab Manson or Henrique. Manson's got a better contract and he's younger, so pff, probably grab him. Think that'll make the most sense. We'll see. It depends. It seems to be that there's, yeah, there's always a lot of off, um, defensemen available, but Goligoski's an OFD, so we can't grab him anyway. Broussard, two-way guy. We could grab him two years at one mil, which isn't too bad. He's on the older side of things, but I highly doubt we'll find anything that good in the way of, uh, I mean, we can grab Capa Bianco, hope he pans out. I don't, ah, uh, you know what? He got really good for us in Arizona. He became a very solid top six guy. So I'm kind of tempted to snag him. And see if he maybe pans out in this one too, because I, you know, I really liked him, and I want more of Capa Bianco, so I think we'll snag him. That's more of a prospect type thing, but that, eh, that'll be fine. Thick Richie, mm, that's pretty tempting to grab Thick Richie here. Can I pass up on Thick Richie? Probably not. You probably have to grab Thick Richie. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Thick Richie. Let's go. Fuck yeah, just for the memes alone. Just for that alone, we're grabbing Thick Richie. Um, Montour, it's another righty, but uh, young, young, eh, he'll, he'll be a good spot filler. I don't want to grab Ocpozo. I could take bad contracts off the hands, but everyone pisses and moans when I do that. It's like, ah, oh, what happened? That's what happens when you build a bad team. Yeah. Kind of trying to build a bad team half the time in expansion. Anyway, we'll, we'll go with Montour this time. That's already three defensemen. Uh, is he another righty too, by the way? Can I not click on him? Okay, I guess I can't click down on him. No, yeah, he's another righty, so we got a right side all figured out. We could trade some of them if we want for picks and whatnot. Uh, can't grab Geo. Could grab Backland. That's one of those shitty contracts we can hold on to for a while. And kind of make everything better. Or at least make help us hit that cap floor. Shillington doesn't make sense. He, oh, he's also an OFD. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll probably just snag Backlund. There's a bad contract. Dougie Fresh, Jake Gardner. I'm pretty sure they're. Yeah, Dougie Fresh is an OFD. Jake Gardner's actually two way, hilariously. Might just grab him. Dezingle, what are you? Two way. Mm, not too shabby. It's either Dezingle or Gardner. We do need some lefties. I might swap out one of the other ones. I, I do like Dezingle, though. He'd be a solid, like, third line dude for a decent chunk of time. He's only 28. I'll hesitantly put him in there, but remember that Gardner's around. I just feel like there's always going to be tons of defensemen. Oh, you can't pass. It's a, f no, you can't pass. Nope, we're grabbing Andrew Shaw. I don't care. No one else exists besides the grinder. Don't care. I know, yeah, we need some goalies eventually, too. I haven't even checked goalies yet. Might be some good goalies around there. We could also just grab a couple absolute trash heaps for goalies. Another lefty, probably snag him. You know what? Yeah, it's a shit contract, but I don't really care. He'll he could play, he'll probably be playing in the top four anyway. Donskoy is also a shit contract. No one else really appeals to me. So we're gonna have our defensive core figured out pretty quick. Let's see who is actually <laughs> okay. No goaltenders available. Is Atkinson still a snipe? Yeah, damn. <laughs> I was kind of hoping... Just everyone on Columbus should be changed to two-way guys anyway. If you're not, you get benched. So there's another right-handed... I could probably swap out one of the other ones, but there's Boone Jenner, who's got incredible face-offs. But he's also only an 81. He's not very good. But... 
But we're you know what? We're gonna need some guys like this. I'll, I'll put in him for now. He could be a good third liner. Gurionov we can't grab because he's a sniper. Oh god, there's no one good here. Could I, oh thank god they have a goaltender. I, I might oh my oh yeah, he signed for a stupid amount. Uh I mean I could grab him. See if he does well. Like who else is here? That's n no one no one's here. Oh man. Honka never panned out, poor guy. I mean, Dickinson's okay, but 24, he's not really going to grow much. If he was like 23, I would definitely take him, but 20, uh, 24, I don't know, man. They do have Kamano, though, who is a grinder, and we could actually maybe be training him up quickly on our own. 76, 21, top 9, like, that's not bad, man. He could actually, you know what, I'm taking Kamano. Fuck yeah, he's probably, he probably shouldn't even be available, but I don't care. <laughs> There's Stetcher. Still need goaltenders. Oh, great. Ah, they're all old, man. Could grab a backup here, like Picard or something stupid. We do. We are going to need at least someone to be in the AHL. So either Picard or Boyle would be good for that. This guy's at least on a two-way. Let's grab Kevin Boyle. I don't really like anything. It's Detroit, man. Don't really. Oh, man. Another righty. You know what? I'll probably, if I, ugh, Barry. Barry, though. They're all righties that avail. Bullshit! Right-handers are at a premium. Oh man, I you can't pa I can't pass that up. It's at no. Uh, I feel bad because it's Edmonton, but how how do you pass that up unless they have a, a good goaltender available? But but it's Edmonton. They don't they don't. You know, Koskinen ain't too shabby for what we need. No, he really isn't. But it's also Tyson Barry. We need to get rid of a freaking right-handed defenseman in this case. <laughs> or just trade one. We could trade Barry. I don't care. I'll trade him back to freaking Edmonton for a pick. We'll do that. That sounds fun. If only. He could be a very, like, a career backup. But so can Montembeau, who's younger. Hmm. I don't like really anyone who's here. Alexi Sorella. 77, but 23. If this was medium, I'd take him. But it's not. Juleson, another righty. DFD, though. You know what? Since he's a prospect, I might grab Juleson here. And train him up into a nice top six of the future. Still need goaltenders here. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be forced to take one of those shitty goaltenders. Oh, I should have, you know what? Fuck Arizona, dude. They, yeah, screw, ah, it was Capa Bianco. Shit, they do, they do have, yeah, Arizona's like the prime place to get goaltenders usually. I do love me some Capa Bianco, but yeah, you're gonna have, it's either Ronta or the other, or Kemper who's available. It is Ronta. Tough to say. But I'm I'm honestly not trying to be amazing initially. So I might just say F that. I don't think we're gonna see any good prospects here. Power forward, but nah. Could just grab quick. <laughs> that would that would you know what that would kinda help LA. They'd like that. And he would spot fill for us. Probably get us towards cap floor. I'll put him in there hesitantly. Brodine's tempting. Another lefty on in a two-way one at that. That would be our seventh defenseman, but probably trade at least one of them. They have Talbot. Interesting. Better than quick. Let me put in Brodine for now. All right, what do you got, Montreal? Really? He's still an 81. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have made some changes on my own. Fuck off, Anderson, an 81, dude. He's mid-80s at least. He's a beast. Whatever, though. Hard to pass up on Mete in this situation. Fucking so many defensemen available. Really hard to pass up Mete. You know what? If I'm grabbing Mete, I could say 
F cop a Bianco and grab a goaltender. Or I could grab Saros. 100% gonna grab Saros. Yep. I, I, I want to keep those prospects as much as I can. Or at least as close to prospect dudes as I can get. God damn, if we need I we really I need to grab some forwards here. I'll probably grab Miles Wood here. Winger, 24. He's got some growth left to him, not a whole lot. Or you can grab Zaka. But center power forward. I'd rather grab a winger. So I'm gonna grab Miles Wood. We definitely need some more forwards here. Everly, can't grab him. Because he's a sniper, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Dal Call also a sniper. Might have be forced into taking Sezikis here. Yeah. Or grab Clutterbuck. Another grinder. We can get our get a fourth line grinder line going. Have him for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's grab Clutterbuck. We can at least have a full grinder line to start out, which I'm hyped about. Oh, Chris Kreider. That's a contract that would help getting that off their hands. For sure. And he's a powerful. He's still, yeah, he's, yeah. you know what? We're going to grab Chris Kreider here. We're going to have, yeah, we still have some cap space. I'm just trying to get us to, towards the, that cap floor. Could grab Stepan. Ooh, Connor Brown, though. Young-ish. We do need right wingers. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a Connor Brown. Whoa! Really? Oh, he's a sniper! Ah, oh, he used to be a two-way guy. We can grab Gustafson at least. Or Sanheim, who's younger. Might grow more. At least can grow more. So probably the better pick. Or you can grab Ratcliffe, 21 though, 71, power forward, ooh, it's tempting, but... Sanheim's even more tempting, that's so many defensemen. It's gonna be nine defensemen. <laughs> Whatever, we are trading at least one, and then two of the rat. you know what, that'll be actually be perfect. Yeah, we're trading one, and then two of them are gonna be prospects, so you know what, yeah. We'll grab Sanheim. Rust, what are you? Two-way! Don't think I could pass that up. That's that seems pretty pretty easy. Tristan Jar is trash. Let's grab him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd expose him. I'd probably expose him too. Donato. Pretty tempting actually. He's he could actually grow a bit. Gambrell though. Is a center. Wow, really? His face officer is 72, eh? Okay. He could grow prob well, could he grow higher than Nato? I don't know. It's tough to say. They got Jones exposed? Yeah, they do. There you go. There's Jones. 82. They're fucking cranking him down slowly but surely. Burnsy. It's gonna happen. People. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, no. You're, you're stuck with that. Sorry, Sharks. You're stuck with him. Damn. It's a tough call between Donato or Gambrell. I like the high top six, but the one-year age gap. Then the one overall difference. Uh, medium top six, but 23. We do need centers. I'll, I'll hold off. I'm not too sure who I want from there yet. Ah. Uh. Zach Sanford's a power forward, so if we're going to grab a... Could grab Sanford. It's not too shabby. Klim Kostin is also a power forward. 21-77. I actually might snag him. Because, like, he should theoretically get at least as good as Sanford. Could be like a, uh, I'm going to put him in there. I really like that. Could be like a th nice little third liner to have. Palat, playmaker. Coleman, two-way guy. And a center. 75 face-offs. Probably take Coleman in this situation. 
Oh, oh, God damn, why do you have so many good... Oh man, they have so many... Oh wow. So many freaking good defensemen. It's crazy. We desperately need centers. But holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna snag Gambrell then in this case, I think. Yeah, let me snag Gambrell. See what he can pan out to be, Toronto. Jumbo! Can't grab him though. Uh, see, I, gotta, yeah, I probably just grabbed the Wayne train here. Yeah. Probably grabbed the Wayne train. Ooh, although. Oh, that is tempting. We st we're good. We need centers. We could use another right winger. That what Simmons brings to the table. But another goaltender, though. This guy could be the eight, that HL. Fuck, I gotta grab him. I like that. 74-21. Probably shouldn't even be able to be exposed, but whatever. The game's gonna suck. I'm gonna capitalize on it. We can get Shotgun Jake here. Or another grinder in McEwen. <laughs> Just get all the grinders we had. Alright, I'm gonna grab McEwen here. We need some centers now. Yeah, we desperately need centers. So we pretty much... Okay, cool. Zero centers. We can't grab him though at all. Uh, Alright, we'll have to... I'll have to go back and look at some stuff that I can get rid of. Yeah, this is literally zero centers here. Can't grab Verona. If we grab someone like Orlov or we'd have to, I have to go back. Sure, he's pretty sure at like a yeah, playmaker or something. Alright, I might have to put Orlov in for now. It's a lot of friggin' defensemen. I'll have to go back and look for one of those lefty dudes. And, all right. Oh yeah, La Lowry. Oh, perfect, perfect, yeah. Snag Lowry. So that's four centers at least. We could technically finish the draft with this. It's not saying this is illegal. Which I'm actually... We could trade some of those defensemen for picks. Which I'm, I'm actually kind of digging that. Yeah, I could grab another... Uh, this is going to let me finish it, even though I don't have five centers. We do have a bit of cap space. Let's see, will it let me finish? Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, do I Alright, let me, let me scroll back a bit. Let's find some of those... So, righty, righty. How do I actually, okay, center's picked. Okay, we can check like this. We got left wingers, a bunch of those guys. Dzingle, Wood, Kreider, Richie, Dzingle can be NHL. And maybe Kamano, too. So, there's your four lines. This thing with the centers is we don't actually have that unless we throw Gambrell in there. But Lowry, Backlund, Jenner, that's one, two, three. But yeah, we technically don't have a... Uh, unless I throw someone in the middle. I think Shaw can take face-offs, actually, if I recall that correctly. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. I think that I like this. At least we have value. We can, we can move some value around. So I'm actually kind of happy with that uh, expansion draft. We'll see how it actually turns out. But we got multiple defensive prospects, at least two of them. Then we got guys we can trade. But we can't do it yet. We could trade at the draft, but probably just wait. Yeah, let's go to draft interviews here. All right, so... Oh, no. Really? There's Don't tell me there's only going to be four elites. Oh, there's a freaking time six grinder, though. <laughs> this could be perfect. I mean, that, that, that seems seems about right. Our first pick ever. We might get lucky with one. No, we probably won't. Oh, that sucks. Had to get bumped back to a... I mean, this guy's going to be a goddamn perfect third liner, except for the overload. But you never know. Maybe we have an overload third line. I don't even know what our coaching style is going to be. <laughs> I don't know if you can find a third line overload. This guy would have been awesome to get. I mean, any of these guys really would have been pretty cool to get. You can maybe... Oh, he's injury prone, though. You don't want that. You can maybe... Maybe move up, but probably not with these guys. And 
This guy might drop, so I think I might interview him. Yeah. Just player style, personality, and stuff. Let us see. Hopefully he's in like a two-way or defensive and stay-at-home guy. All right, we already did readiness, so we'll do personality and then like strengths and weaknesses or something. Not that any of that really matters. I'm pretty sure strengths and weaknesses are just pretty cookie cutter, and they don't really have a lot to do. Passionate. Good to know, Abel. All right, let's see here. What's your greatest strength? See, defensive skill stat. Oh, I could have figured that with a fucking stay-at-home defenseman. Thanks for nothing, EA. Alright, well, at least we know he's a DFD. Confirmed. And... Uh, I don't know about the style, but whatever. Um... I'm kind of looking for... Okay, this guy could be low elite, so I'm going to pin him. We might be able to move up for that. I'll see if there's any... Nah, no real unknowns. Oh, there's one here. Pin him, because he might be... Eh. Probably not. But I'll pin him anyway. I, they're probably going to be garbage. But they are unknowns, so you never know. Maybe, they're, maybe they won't be. There's another one here. I'm just pinning the lows, essentially. All right, um... Yeah, I really, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I even need, I don't really need to scout much more because the first pick's really the most important. And we're either, can maybe get that guy or have to grab this guy. Fuck it, I'm, I'm done, I don't care. Draft interviews, I already... Yeah, give me to the draft here. There we go. All right, so let's do it. Let's do the draft here. Can we move up? No. <laughs> it's gonna be highly unlikely. We're not gonna be able to move up unless we unless we do it right now. But probably not gonna pan out. Detroit needs that guy. Minnesota doesn't need him. Fuck you guys. Why do you? Why the hell are they up here? Holy hell. Are they willing to trade this pick? They are listed. Well, they're listed as sellers. Why are they listed as sellers? That's dumb. They want this pick. All right, we can give you back Brodeen. <laughs> you want Brodeen back? Where is he? Oh God, I thought he's gonna have more value than that. Here, take Brodeen back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not gonna be able to get this. I don't think we're gonna have enough value here. It'd have to be like Barry, which I don't necessarily want to do. I'd rather give him back to uh, Edmonton for something. Why does he have such shit value for an 83? That's weak. Lefty, lefty, and then lefty. I want to get rid of one of these guys. All right, let's let's throw Orlov in. See if they like that. What? Let's throw Orlov in and see if they like that. Yeah, no, I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna be able to move up. <laughs> it's just we just don't. Yeah, it's gonna cost too much, and yeah, I don't wanna. I mean, it's how worth it is it really? For someone with two-year ETA, and it's for this guy anyway. I pick out of order. This guy's injury prone. Really, the best one was this dude. So let's do a hail mary real quick for with Anaheim. But I, I, it's Anaheim. Why would they want to give up this pick? Wait, they don't want this. That's actually kind of a good sign. Hold up. All right, in this case, I might just chuck Barry in there. Let's see if they want this and, and Barry. Is enough to snuff at all. I could, all right, if I can give away two of them, I'll do it, but that's, that's, that's it. 
Barry and Brodine, if this, or Barry and Orlov, if this doesn't work... Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Alright, we're just gonna draft in place, unfortunately. Likely gonna get a fucking top six here. I, I might just... Well, I, no, it doesn't make sense moving back either. I'd rather just get the top six grinder. Yeah, alright, whatever. Up we go. Yeah, he's not even NHL ready anyway. 77. 73 DFD injury prone. Minnesota gets the OFD 73. Maybe we get lucky here, but probably not. We get lucky. <laughs> Fucking Detroit. Oh, he's a 69 grinder though. I oh man, that's hilarious. All right, so Detroit was fucking stupid. Um, so we actually do get the elite righty DFD to your ETA. <laughs> Able flood. Let's fucking go. Get on this team, son. 70 overall elite DFD. Wow, that was the luckiest thing on the planet. <laughs> so we ended up being able to keep all of our value. And uh, yeah, good job, Detroit. Let's see, was there, were there any other elites here that I could have maybe picked up and that was just maybe out of order? Yeah, okay, there was. Doig. Doig was actually a DFD too. So 67 lefty, not too bad. And then New Jersey gets a top six sniper. Probably no more elites here. Yeah. All right, up we go. So in this case, if I'm blind picking, I guess I kind of have to draft guys who are not two-way dudes at all times. So in that case, we just can't use them. I think that we'll we'll, we'll say that can't can't use them if they're uh, cause yeah, <laughs> how, how am I supposed to? We all know how the freaking scouting works. You know what? I'll probably snag this guy because he's likely gonna be two-way and he might be a low elite. Left winger Nikolin, Ivan Nikolin. Let's see. No, and he's a sniper. So probably not going to be any of those who are uh, low elites there. Whoa! Medium elite sniper? What? Wow. Sick pick by there by Ottawa. What the hell? Were there any other steals? Holy shit. Yes, there was. Shirikov. That's awesome. Look at that in the second round. Damn. Shit, we could have had him. Whoa, okay. Holy hell. Um, do I go for a goalie then? <laughs> or this guy, he got two ticks, medium. Oh, he's real. We could go for a goalie. Hope he turns out to be something decent. It looks like he's fake. Four-year eh, four ETA, though. That's not exactly great. He'll probably be not... Yeah, it probably won't be anything good. The fuck, though, man? Leadership, work ethic. Holy hell. All right, you know what? And he looks fake, so you know what? I'm going to take a chance on him and hope we get... Oh! <laughs> what? No way! Yo, it's a two-way forward two with leadership ability. Holy fuck, dude. Oh my god, what a goddamn blind pick steal. Number 66, too. He's got a he's got a fucking he's got a he, he's confident too. He wears number 66. This is the type of guy who walks in a room and his dick has already been there for 10 minutes. Oh my god, Chris Arsene, future captain. Maybe. If if he develops. Holy shit. Holy shit. In the third round, we pick a medium elite. Get fucked. Now we got now we got the Gretzky pick. Let's go. All right. Can we? Can we? No, probably not. Probably not gonna get it again. But I'm gonna look for another blind pick. He's a bust. Don't want to snag him. Hugo Stiff. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Ludwig Klefbaum. <laughs> Hugo Stiff, though, dude. Fuck. And he's from... Uh, ooh, might be a grinder, but a low. I don't know. You could could find some low leads here. You never know, man. We do have a lot of... Fuck it. I'm going to go with it. Oleg Kalinin. He's 18. Could be made up. He's, he's low. Let's see what we get. Oh, he's not low. He's top nine power forward. Okay. 56. Not amazing. Not bad. Uh, what's that moto guy like? Did I pass up on something really good? 
No, not really. All right, up we go to the 131. Probably won't find anything else. Go Fuck! <laughs> all right, all right. Bureau, Bureau, Anthony Bureau. Where were you from? I don't know, but you're made up. You're a center. Look for a 17-year-old or a Probably a 17-year-old. Hello. Nope, you're real. Nope. Class and mate, that other guy that sounds kind of like an American name. This guy might not be a bad one to select. Norm Class and although that almost sounds like a real name. Sometimes the U.S. dudes don't have pictures. A lot of times they don't have pictures. What was this guy's name? Bureau. Anthony Bureau. That could be Canadian or American. It's hard to say. I'm gonna go with this though. Hope ho for lowly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck yeah, ba ah, it's a playmaker, but whatever. It's still a lowly. I still got damn two blind pick steals, baby. Two blind pick steals. Get on my level. Get on my level. This is the best throwaway draft ever. Seriously, this is the best like after expansion draft ever. Holy crap, man. All right, now now it's gonna be a bunch of garbage. They're all gonna be real dudes, huh? Probably. All right, so in this case, oh hello. Snap, I don't care. More Americans because that's where the low elites are. All right, that time not. No, no, playmaker too, so we can't use him. But he's low top six, so decent value at least. No, I actually. Oh fuck! Actually, I should have taken that trade. This is gonna be an absolute garbage pick. I should have taken. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped it too quick, but we got this. Oh, what if he's an enforcer? We're going for it. I don't care. We're going for it. <laughs> he's an enforcer. D. <laughs> Low top four. I don't care though. We get. We can actually use him. Let's fucking go. Now I'm happy I didn't trade the pick. Enforcer D, baby. Torts team is panning out well here. All right, get out of here. What a fucking draft that was. Holy shit. I swear, Arsene, please, please pan out. I am begging you, please pan out. Please grow. Ah, oh, please. I want him to grow so fucking bad. Please, dude. He's got, he had leadership ability. God damn, he, need, he needs to grow. I don't care. Second line, I don't care where you go to. You are my captain if you, if you, if you become an NHLer. I'm put, I'm saying it right now. Arsene will be the captain if he becomes an NHLer. Oh, please pan out. <laughs> All right, resign phase here. Let's see. Fuck, man. <laughs> I'm so stoked right now. I don't even think we actually have to sign anyone. I think I did a good job of not drafting anyone who had to sign. I could. Where was Flood from? He's American. I could play. You know what? He's eight. He's seventy. So you know he could be in the HL. He is listed as other D. So I'm a little worried about doing that. And I don't have, you know what, I don't have my AHL coaches yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. I don't have good AHL coaches, so I'm going to hold off on signing anyone because of that. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. We do, I might be able to get great AHL coaches immediately, but I, I won't, there's no need to sign him right now. I could sign him at any point and he'll just got automatically put on my team, so. Uh, let's go up to free agency. We'll probably need to fill out the roster a bit, which is fine. Fog of War's off, so we could cheat in that way. Yeah, we only have 30 contracts. We definitely need to fill out the uh, roster a bit. We'll see who's available. Big buff. Why is he still like that good? That's hilarious. All right, I'm not going to sign him. I'll let someone else get him. Kruger, we could use him as a fourth liner. I'd rather get, you know what? Let's, let's find, is there like a grinder center around here? Bolesky. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I just need someone to actually just good at face-offs. So I want that grinder fourth line. I don't know if I had anyone. You know, let's check. Do I have anyone good at face-offs my, of my grinders? I don't think so. Let's see. Who are my grinders? We had... Shaw's a actually I think Shaw might have good to face offs I can't remember 76 yeah he could actually play center so I could have Shaw in the middle and then Clutterbuck on the right side and then we also have McEwen and we gotta have Kamano okay Kamano's not okay he's listed as fourth line so I could actually play him there and then we have Kamano on the uh the left side yeah something we can do 
we could have McEwen growing in the AHL. Kind of wa almost want to start Kamano in the AHL. I'm going to extend him immediately, by the way. One, one way? Fuck you, I'm waiting. Get out of here. There's our two goalies in the system, Boyle and Scott. That's like a perfect setup. And then Saros quick. We'll see. Those are our uh, cat moves. Now we, we could also make some trades, which I'll look into right now. Let's see. Can I give Barry back to... I'm feeling good about this franchise mode, man. I'm feeling hyped. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun challenge. And we started off with a bang. Ooh, you know what, man? That might be that might be enough. They, I know they don't want to give it up, but they're gonna want Barry. They want Barry back. All right, it's not gonna be enough though. They need some defensive help though. Ooh, our scene. It's got some low value. It's all right though. Just please grow, man. Please. <laughs> all right, we're gonna give him back Barry because that's hilarious. They have to, what? How did they have too many skaters? I took them. How did they have time? Oh, they must have signed someone. They must have just like signed someone in the resign phase. Fucking assholes. James Neal. I can't afford him. They would love to. They actually, hilariously, they're not trying to give him up, which is goddamn. That's funny. Just take back one of these garbage guys with a year left. Yeah. Value's too far off. I could probably give him two defensemen here. So what did I have? I think I had another lefty I could get rid of. We are going to have... All right, if we do this, we'll have... Manson, Brodeen, Orlov, Sanheim. That's three guys on the left side, right? Brodeen, Orlov, Sanheim. Yeah. So you hold on to Sanheim because he's got growth. Brodeen, that's some shit value. I don't know why it's so low. I don't know why Orlov's is higher. It's really weird how that worked out, but it is what it is. We got Montour on the right side. Oh, yeah, we also have Taves who's on the left, isn't he? Yeah, we can give up two lefties, technically. Barry Manson or righties. Sanheim's a lefty. Orlov Brodin all lefties. You give up. I can give up one of the. You know what? I can give up Taves and Orlov as well. Just give him an influx of defensemen. But you could also play him in the top six. What am I? Even, <laughs> what am I gonna do here? Mete, Juleson, Capabianco, all those those guys are all AHL, maybe even foot, but you're kind of almost... You know, you know what? I'll play foot and Taves in the top six, probably. Yeah, because Taves is done growing. Montour. And Manson on the right side. Yeah, so you give up Barry and then Brodin Orloff, Sanheim. So, theoretically, Orloff. Do they have cap space for that? They still, oh, they'd have, yeah, again, too many skaters. They, pr oh, I don't think they'd have, yeah. Well, it is in the free agency, so they might let them do it. In this case, I could take back James Neal. Hilari the funny thing is they don't actually want to give him up, which is really weird. They also take back Slayer Cuckoo. Yeah, okay, no, it actually won't let us. So I'm going to have to take back James Neal if I do this. Where is he now? What? Hold on, he was just here. I know how to do this. Oh, I'm, I'm on fucking defenseman. That would be why. <laughs> Look at me go. All right, yeah, we can take back Neal's contract. It's not for super, super long. Yeah, that would be league approved. So Barry Orlov for a first... Fuck yeah. All right, well, they say it's a no-brainer. I'd say I'm getting something good. Now, we hope, we hope that Ed, uh, that Edmonton does absolute dog shit because oftentimes they do early on. But oftentimes the Pacific, the Pacific Division is a absolute dog shit too, so hard to say. But we gave them back Barry, essentially. We took their first. Maybe could have got something else with that since they said they ripped me off. I, it looked good to me. I mean, especially as they didn't look like they want to give up that pick, but all right. So there we go. We got that. So that'll probably be the trade I make right now. Oh yeah, about draft pick restrictions. I'm honestly, I don't know if I should we if I'm gonna do draft pick restrictions at all with this. Maybe I will, just just cause. Maybe I'll do the, the same thing. Twelve to nine, only three allowed in the first two rounds. But yeah, pro yeah, Espe especially if we are allowed to draft non-skilled. How about like in the first round we can't draft 
anyone who's not like the two way. And then after that, if it's blind, it's hard to, you know, be able to pick. I don't know. We can figure that out. We'll, we'll, I'm, we're, we'll, we'll change this mode as we go. We'll, we'll adjust it to make it fun and fair and stuff like that. But I still like to have draft pers- pa- draft pick restrictions, especially as I made the drafts very, very good. So, yeah, maybe saying like the first round, like when we're, you know, scouting a lot of guys, we can't, I don't know. <laughs> At least in the top five, top ten, we can't grab any school guys because we should have them all fully scouted, right? And their player types and everything like that, too. So maybe we'll say that, but everything else kind of pick whatever the fuck you can. All right. Um, I think after that, I think that's going to be, you know, our team settled. Now we got to snag some guys in free agency, but we'll let whoever grab Bufflin. We couldn't even afford him anyway, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we had, I think we had everything. We need to sign some guys, but I'll probably do that a bit in the next video and then we'll get a full year done too. Should be, should have enough time, but yeah. Those bless, like there's some, some guys that I, I would like to grab. I'm also looking to see if there's any sort of potential grind. There's not going to be any potential grinders, probably. I don't even think there'll be any good potential guys. Well, there's this guy, Drury. 69, 20, two-way guy. You can sign guys like this, Drury. This Nason guy. Nason, whatever. Another Josh Anderson. There's a variety of guys that we could sign here for our AHL. Speaking of AHL. Oh, I, why can't I just, oh, I can't do coaches. Really? You can't do coaches first year. Holy shit. Really? Oh, yes, I can. Get out of here. <laughs> they, they tried. They tried. All right. Are there going to be any good teaching coaches for my AHL? There might be. Ooh, pr- you know what? That's better to just search by this and see if there's any good ones. Not really. Yeah, I think I still kind of have to, like, wait a year. It's really not any good teaching coaches. That sucks. Are my guys good at teaching? Not really. Well, at least we got a couple in the NHL who are good at teaching. But, yeah. Not exactly great. So, that'll be for... That's top priority. Also, getting better scouts is top priority, which I will do off screen. You guys don't need to see me do that. I just basically... Dude, change everything until I get all C's and yeah, no AHL guys. We will keep. I, I will keep up the thing of having at least the four NHL scouts, even though Fog of War is off. It's just it's just fair. It's not it's not fair if I can scout everything. But maybe I don't know. Maybe in this one we get extra minor scouts. Maybe you guys will, will allow me to have the extra minor scouts in this one, since we have to like theoretically look for more two way guys, grinders, and. And such. We're not allowed to grab three player types, which is it's pretty massive when you think of it. There's a lot of playmakers, snipers, and OFDs, man. Especially, especially in the top fives and top tens. All right, well, we're gonna end it here. We'll do free agency and the season in the next one. Let me know what you guys think about the expansion draft, this mode in general, as well as that excellent steal in our scene. Everyone, you have to give good vibes in the comments. I want right now. Put good vibes in the comments for our scene to grow into an absolute beast in the NHL for us. Remember to hit that like button, guys. New series, you know the rules, man. Got to help me out. Boost this thing up in that algorithm. We got to beat YouTube because YouTube beats us constantly. Literally, it's an abusive relationship. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one.